Yeah, don't ever get mad at people. I, some people do get upset. I used to get upset like that when people would say something I didn't like. I don't bother me no more. If you don't believe in me, I've got people that come up to me and tell me they believe in purple Twinkies and yellow dinosaurs and the weirdest stuff. People got the weirdest stuff. Some of the stuff they come up with, that don't bother me. That doesn't bother me. Just treat people good. Because by treating people good, especially when you comment, look, you're not stupid because you believe different than me. You just don't have the knowledge. You don't have truth in you. That's how I speak. I speak Bible. I don't speak mean to you. One day you'll know. You might be a brother or sister in Christ one day because, because I didn't use you like, you know, like, like, like somebody who didn't know nothing and you're stupid. You're not stupid. You just don't know your Bible. If you've read it and you got it confused, well, come over and I'll help you unconfuse it because a lot of people got this Bible confused. And, and, and listen to me. A lot of people are lying too. I'm going to tell you something. You're lying. A lot of people are lying. I read all the time. Okay, so I read Zephaniah the other day. That's in the Old Testament. Okay, I read Zephaniah. It's not that hard to read the whole thing. When I got done reading it, I only remember parts of it. I can't remember it all word for word. I'm going to have to read Zephaniah again. I have to read Micah again. I read Micah in the end of Micah. I remember, you know, I remember it, but I don't remember it like word for word. You think about how hard it would be to remember the whole Bible word for word. And I'm old and I forget stuff. So I have to keep reading. Okay, I have to keep reading. And that's what I do. That's why I read books at a time. Because then I'm not confused. I don't want to get into Matthew and just read a couple verses. I read the whole book. It's not really that hard, folks. I'm telling you straight. These guys that say it's that hard, it's not that hard. It ain't taking 10 years to read a Bible. People don't want to read it. I watched a guy go in the library the other day. And uh, he had three thick books thicker than this. I almost asked him, hey, how long does it take you to read those? But I already know because I, 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 I see these things, you know. Because I investigate, I'm still old, it's hard for me to find stuff on the computer. Sometimes I go to the library, you know, and I'm like, look it up, and you know. But listen, folks, just treat people good. And, and for those on, on, especially on here on TikTok, when I make a comment on something else, I, you might not have known, you can just ignore me and move on. I'm not trying to be mean to you at all, but I'm giving you Bible, you might not have known that. If I get you in here reading this, it's going to change your world. But listen, if you don't want to change, you don't have to. But when you be negative to me, you're better off just to ignore me. If you want to do your devil's work, you go ahead and do it. You're better off to ignore me. But when you make comments back at me, I'm not mad at you. I'll give you, I'll give you comments. <laughs> Bible comments. I'm not perfect. As you can see, my throat just stopped up. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I've got no teeth. I've got teeth ace all the time. My body hurts. My shoulders ain't right. You can. I mean, I'm not. I'm a redhead. Listen. You're bringing people to Christ by doing that. When you comment negatively, people read the Bible. They come over and check me out. God bless you. We appreciate you. I really.